Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to DigiCode Productions. Um, now, I'm covering this one because of the sheer scale of tech that is involved. Um, here in Ireland, we have something called the Policing Authority. And the Policing Authority is responsible for supervising on Garda Shia Corner, who are our police force. Now, uh, there's recently been a sort of a scandal whereby um, it came to light that on Garda Shia Corner recorded something in the region of 1.4 million breath tests that had actually never occurred. Um, apparently somebody noticed this on a computer. Um, it wasn't an error. Um, apparently it was to do with the way they were processing the records. Um, and in fact, evidence for 1.4 million breath tests was actually produced. Um, but they now know that um, considerably less than that number were actually put through the system. Now, <clears throat> the reason this thing beggars belief is that because we have something which is called a fixed penalty system, um, some 14,700 drivers have now been wrongfully convicted of a variety of crimes. Um, well, <clears throat> in and around all of this breath test stuff. Um, so, it's a bit of a problem. Now, one of the reasons this caught my eye was there's... When, when I've had dealings with the guards, okay, um, I've always found them very civil. I've always found them very reasonable. In fact, to tell you the truth, I've mostly found them on my side. They are what their name says they are. On guard is she a corner, which means civil guard, i.e. my guard, my policeman. Um, and they are very much like that. Um, now, they've been hugely undermanned and hugely under-resourced, under-trained, underpaid, um, and it's a problem. Um, I've noticed it out there, we've noticed it out there, that, you know, passing through a guard checkpoint, everything's fine. You're looking at them and you're just thinking, that person looks stressed. You want to offer them a cup of tea. You want to take them home and feed them. You know, they're looking a bit stressed, overworked, underpaid, under-resourced. Now, all I'm going to say about this, the system is called Pulse, okay? That's the system that records the random breath testing. Um, <clears throat> obviously, that system needs to be taken away and replaced with something else. Um, however, what I would say is that when you consistently under-train, under-resource, under-equip, under-pay, um, and highly pressurize what is a very thin blue line, it is going to buckle, and you are going to find things like this pulse scandal will come to light. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the guards, I mean, the reports I've read aren't saying this, but I wouldn't be surprised if the guards had to issue a certain number of breath tests every month, or some kind of penalty kicked in, or something they were expecting to get wouldn't happen. Um, so, it's interesting. Very interesting. Um, I mean, there's an investigation going on by Crow Howarth, which is the name of the report, and they've said they found unacceptable failures in our systems, process, internal oversight, supervision, governance, management and culture. These are collective failures and we must now all work together from top down to bottom up to resolve them. Sensible thinking. Um, I don't necessarily think the guards are in the mix for this one. My one is 
they've just been put under too much pressure with too few resources. Thank you very much.